All right, guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel once more. This time it's gonna be a little bit of a different video. This is a Snapchat filter, by the way. Clock hit the house. Hashtag Rich Lux. Uh, so I'm gonna be cooking some bomb ass chicken. Uh, I already cooked my rice and peas, so meh. Nah. Uh, it's gonna be, let's call it Daniel style chicken. Oh, freaking no. But how I seasoned it was, I got into my seasoning cabinet, saw some seasonings up in this beach, and then I got Simply Organic Onion Powder. No, I didn't put any of that in it. I put cayenne pepper by Simply Organic. I put some uh, chicken bouillon tomato flavor. I put some I put some uh, barbecue sauce, original style. I put some balsamic vinegar, anybody you want to get it from. Right now my pan is currently being heated up. So let's see what's popping. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I didn't put any honey in it uh, this time. That's going to probably go over it while it's simmering in the pot. But I also put some seasoning sauce there. Because we love a little seasoning sauce, you know what I mean? Um, I put some polo chicken flavor bouillon on it. I put some, I didn't put any chili peppers, but I put some onion and all of that. But this is how it looks right now. All nice and well seasoned. You know, gotta get your hands up in there. Gotta be a badass bitch with your food. You know? Nice and but yeah that's how it looks so far uh it's already it was already cleaned up by walmart this is walmart chicken yeah but that's basically how it looks i'm gonna show you guys a clip of when i uh, get it into the pot what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna shit uh i am going to get a uh what's that thing called vegetable oil and then I throw it into the pot. The pot is right here, heating up on the stove, you know. But yeah, that's basically it so far. I'm gonna fry the chicken and then let's get rolling. <laughs> so currently uh, the pot is heating. I'm doing that to test the heat. Uh, guys, do not do everything you see in this video. It's never the best. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna get some vegetable oil. This is some great value vegetable oil from Walmart, I believe. That's where my dad got it. So, yeah. so I got some vegetable oil in there, and I'm I put some sugar, like some brown sugar, some dark brown sugar there. I'm gonna put a little bit more. This is to give the uh, chicken a bit of a Swedish kind of taste, if you will, and. By putting it into the oil, it gives the chicken, the chicken a little bit more of a brownish kind of a... Usually you will do it with uh, white sugar, but instead I chose brown sugar this time. So, no. So, as you can see, I put some chi um, crust um, red peppers, red pepper seeds, is that what it is? Let me see. Yeah, crushed red peppers in the pot. I put some garlic in there to flavor the oil even more other than the sugar. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure that my chicken is all rubbed up and stuff. Chicken is right here by the way by my microwave. I'm going to make sure it's all rubbed up. Then I'm going to take off all the debris off the chicken. Like the onions and all of that. Don't want them in there as yet. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay the chicken into the pot. Like that. See? Hear that nice sizzle sound? Ooh, bitch, let's go. Next one. So, yep, um, that's all of the chicken in the pot. I'll show you guys a clip of when it's uh, finished. And we're going to give it about three minutes on each side. So, like, we're doing all, like, four sides of each piece of chicken. So yeah, so three minutes on each side. So yeah, um, this is how it looks so far. I just went ahead and threw in 
it look like you're marinating the seasonings into the chicken and stuff. I'm leaving it, let it uh, sit for a little bit. I'm just gonna grab the cover real quick and throw it over it. So, you know, that's basically it for right now. So, <clears throat> I just went ahead and added some uh, corn on the cobs here. And that's basically it, that's the chicken. I'll put a picture of my uh, frick. <laughs> I'll put a picture of the dish when it's all complete because I'm adding cheesy potatoes, coleslaw, and rice and peas. So guys, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something after this. Have an amazing day and tune in again. Follow all my social media. They'll be linked down below. Love you guys. Bye-bye. This is the finished product. Tell me what you guys think.